Okay, guys, so Graham, Aga, well done, you've finished your six weeks. Congratulations. So we'll have a little recap today. Tell us a little bit about your fitness levels before you started. So I wasn't very fit at all. Um, I didn't really do much of an exercise. Mm -hmm. um, and now that we've been in lockdown, it's made things even worse, just yeah. being sat at home with kids, trying to get through it. Um, so I was really unfit. Yeah, yeah. okay. Graham? Yeah, definitely the same. So yeah, going through COVID and, and the lockdown, just sort of the weight started to go on and on. So, and doing less and less exercise. Um, so yeah, fitness levels were pretty, pretty poor to be honest before, yeah. before starting this. Good, cool, cool. So tell us a little about what you've achieved over the six weeks. So I've lost um, a lot of weight. I'm back to what I used to be before I had two babies, which was four years ago, um, which is just amazing. I can yeah. fit in their clothes that I want to wear. Um, the rolls from my back have gone. Nice. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm super pleased with the results. Good stuff. I'm a little fitter as well. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Great. Yeah, um, I've lost six and a half kilos. I think, yeah, it's a lot. Um, I guess I've learned quite a lot about sort of food as well. That's a big mm. thing to take away, like you yeah. know, getting the, the macros right yeah. and um, you know how much protein. Mm. I suppose before kids I was quite fit and I'd always do a lot of exercise, but didn't make the sort of, I didn't understand the, the how important food was, nutrition, so yeah. you learned so much about that. And how, how have you guys found the nutrition? Is it, is it hard to understand or is no, it I think different once foods? You or, get, yeah. you know, once you read the guide, I think it's really, really easy to follow. And also I think it just puts into perspective what you thought some foods might be good for you and healthy, mm -hmm. and they are, but maybe in smaller portions, mm -hmm. so like nuts, etc. You know, I could munch on nuts all day long, yeah. not realising that. I knew they were fatty, but perhaps not as much as they actually are. Yeah. Um, and also how important protein was. Uh, we, we're not massive meat eaters, so we wouldn't substitute the meat for something else that's got higher protein. Oh yeah. Um, before the, the the challenge, which now we we know what to eat and Good. portion sizes as well. Um, nice. That's that's huge change. It's quite an eye opener, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stuff. So tell us a little bit about the training sessions. How have you found them? Easy, hard, indifferent, or what? what? They were hard to start with. I could not walk the next day. I, mean, I literally yeah. could not walk up the stairs or down the stairs. I had to hold onto the rail and kind of just try and pull myself up. It, my legs just were yeah. sponge, yeah, yeah. Sponge, yeah. yeah. awful. Um, but as the days went on and the training sessions, um, you know, it all got easier and the pain had gone and uh, you know, I haven't got as much fat in my legs anymore. I can tell that they, there's more muscle. Yeah. Yeah, no, the same. So, um, yeah, it was really, it was, it was really tough for the first couple of weeks, but then we soon got into the swing of things, mm -hmm. and the thing shots was really good. So yeah. I can now do a proper squat as well. Nice. So yeah, yeah that's always <laughs> good. very beginning, I was just sort of bending over that. But, um, yeah, I can do a proper squat now. So. And you've been going uh, to the beach sessions. Yeah, yes. and yeah. indoors as well. You've been. To yeah, the yeah, both. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Cool. And they're both really good. Like you know, being out at the beach is great, but. Coming here, doing the weights, and learning how to lift properly and yeah. what to do, how to use your muscles, it's really good too. Nice, yeah. good stuff. Um, so, if you were going to, if somebody was asking you about the challenge, mm -hmm. what what would you say to them? How would you summarise it for them? How would you describe it? Uh, I think it's eye opening, and it definitely leaves you with um, knowledge for the future. Um, it's great. It's, it's, I think people that have want to lose some weight and maybe get fitter should definitely do it mm -hmm. um, because it will, it just changes what you eat. Um, and even I was absolutely against exercise, not against, but I just couldn't be bothered. I was yeah. like, no, I'd rather starve myself to lose weight yeah. than get out there and do anything. Whereas now I actually enjoy it. It was really great getting up at 5.15 in the morning to oh, go yeah. to the 6 a.m. Yeah. session on the beach. So yeah, I'll definitely recommend it to anybody. Cool, good stuff. Yeah, my, my advice is that it might might seem daunting at the very beginning, mm -hmm. but and, you know, to lose five and a half kilos or yeah. how, how much percent body fat that is seems like a lot, but actually it's it's quite simple in the way that the nutrition and the, the food sort of sets out. You don't you're not starving yourself. You know, you're always full. So actually, yeah. it's not it's not that hard. No. Yeah. Once you get your head around it. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Good stuff. It's been a pleasure having you guys. It's been amazing. You've done. Well, 28 pounds, 16 and a half inches come off, it's fantastic.
congratulations to you Thank too. You. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.